end is life. A person can receive only what is given them from heaven. You yourself can testify that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I'm sent ahead of him. The bride belongs to the bridegroom. The friend who attends the bridegroom waits and listens for him. And is full of joy when he hears the bridegroom's voice. Now, 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 I'm walking with a lot of people and they're like, this isn't working, Lord. It is already done.
Also, a demonstration of what it is like in the spirit when I had to deal with the church that wouldn't do its job. Because each member I have to train and that takes time to mold people into my image so that they are cheerful about what they are doing so that you receive what you're receiving without guilt and not at the, well, this person was completely destroyed so they had to do it. <clears throat> Rather, you have to wait until you help your opponent to their feet. Remember, everybody fights me, even my remote control. <clears throat> So it took years to get you guys the blessings that you are receiving right now. Of course, starting with your kingdom spouse. and patience and long suffering beyond your belief. Most of you because you went this route. So then I took the time and said, okay, well, let's see if any of that's true. In spirit and truth, I encountered many spiritual situations and have testimony, as does Mary. Jesus, you are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So um, this is going to be a premiere and be watching this. <laughs> Just be watching, you're very much welcome in the name of Jesus. And I decided to do a voiceover on this particular video. It's um, a video of me and then the statement is made and all that. So... I'm very happy if you're joining. God bless you if you're seeing me for the very first time. My name is Ethel Bekanda, and this is your channel that God has brought you towards. I'm your sister. I'm your pastor. However you see me, I'm your daughter. I'm your friend. And God brought you to this particular channel. God brought you in contact with me for a reason. And I want to use this opportunity to wish you a happy, happy 2024 oh my god um i'm saying this right now and i'm so emotional i feel so so emotional because i <clears throat> i've been feeling letting my spirit to come and talk towards but all this while i've been on a retreat like i've been taking a retreat i've been seeking the face of god i've been praying and this is one of the highest spirit too that i've had to receive so many prayer requests from so many people like <laughs> i'm 
received a lot of prayer requests from people and at the same time i have received so many testimonies from people 2023 has been a very long journey so far and you know in as much as it's been long i also feel like it just happened like it was so brief it was so short and all that yeah sometimes it can feel like there's no way out of treatment resistant depression you take one antidepressant after another and they aren't working for you and <laughs> this is 2024 right now and i want to use this opportunity to thank everybody who has been with me you've been with me you've been praying with me you've stood by me there are people who have prayed for me every day i always ask for prayers and when i'm asking for prayers i'm not joking i'm not just saying it because i want to say it but i'm saying it because i know that i need prayers more than even you do because the battles i fight is more and then i pray again for people so your enemies become my enemies <laughs> so that is it right i'm grateful for your prayers i'm grateful for your love i'm grateful for your consistency i want to say thank you so much i've been on the retreat i've been praying i've been seeking the face of god i've been having a quiet moment i've been having a quiet time and there are people who have checked up on me there are people who have sown seeds there are people who have been like pastor this is the seed for this you know i've been so surprised because there are people who when they stop seeing your face they will not check up on you they will not even send an offering nor even say okay this is my tithe this is my but as long as they always see your face that is when they want to do it don't be that kind of person okay be somebody who cares about people even when they are there or even when they are not there yeah and i want to pray for everybody that is here if you've been watching up to this time i want to pray for you i want to pray with you this is the year 2024 that we all have been praying for we all have been trusting the lord for we all have been waiting that the lord is going to give us this opportunity to see you know and i want to pray with us that whatever you're trusting and believing god for that person who needs a last minute miracle i'm praying that the lord gives it to you in the mighty name of jesus oh my god i just said it and i feel the power of god for that person who needs a last minute miracle you need god to bless you you need a change in your life you want god to do something great in your life god will give it to you a last minute miracle you will receive it in the mighty name of jesus god will bless you god will lift you god will transform your life in the name of jesus you will see god come true for you somebody is saying god i need you to come true for me even at this last hour god is coming true for you even at this last hour of your life in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you that you will give a testimony god will give you a confirmation you will testify to the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus somebody type it in the comment section connect yourself make that confession say god to give me confirmation say and i will testify to the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus god's time is always the best and the bible says god makes everything beautiful in his time god bless you in the name of jesus amen god bless you may god uplift you in this season there are so many people who are in depression right now there are so many people who are in deep pain there are so many people who are not okay my prayer for you is that the holy spirit be a comforter in your life let the holy spirit give you that peace my prayer for you is that god will bring you together and god will sort out things in your life you will see god in another dimension you will see god in another level you will see god in another way of your life in the name of jesus you know um ending of this year i had one of my most beautiful memories with the whole man of god stephanie p smith and i was just thinking about her the beautiful moments we had and i decided to do a collection of just a few of our videos and as time goes by i'm gonna have a lot more and wherever you are stephanie p smith i want to say thank you to you i had this amazing moment with you and you are a blessing to the body of christ 
Hallelujah. Family, keep praying for all of us. You have to learn to pray for every pastor, every servant of God. When they are releasing unto you, their enemies, your enemies become their enemy. Their, your enemies become their enemies, yes. And your battles becomes their battles. Always make sure that you intercede for people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And oh my God, this dropped greatly in my spirit. Okay. This is um, the last um, this is, we are wrapping up and this is like a settled, like we're settling for this particular time, for this particular moment and for this particular year. We're saying, God, we are cresting over to our next level. There is a change. We are stepping up. Now, this is what I got led in my spirit to tell somebody. If you're led in your spirit, do it. If you're not led in your spirit, it's okay. What you're going to do is, the Lord led me to tell you anyway. You want to give this is okay if the lord is leading you to give it to this particular ministry my ministry is very okay any other ministry is okay but this is what i'm led to tell you sow a sacrificial seed of for 2023 and question over to 2024 what are you saying god i'm sowing the seed i'm leaving behind everything about 2023 and i'm entering into my next level i heard it so clear so so clear a sacrificial seed and say my 2023 is done i'm stepping over to my 2024 and as you'll be saying that seed wherever you are whoever or whatever ministry i don't know but as you're going to be doing that god will do something great if you're sowing to this particular ministry i will see your name and make sure you're tacking it a sacrificial seed a sacrificial seed is not any kind of seed no it's not you just saying no i'm giving this no it's not any kind of seed your pastor is not hungry. The ministry is not lacking. A sacrificial seed is for your own good. Look at it. Think about it. Is this what suffice? Remember the story of Cain and Abel. A sacrificial seed for 2023, crossing over to 2024. If you're sowing that seed, make sure you tack it. A sacrificial seed. I'll call your name wherever I am and I'll pray for you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you, and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord have been missing. I've been broken. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I love you so, so, so much. God bless you for your sacrifice, for your time. God bless you for your love. God bless you for your endeavors. I love you so, so much. And my prayer for you is that God will give you a great confirmation. God will increase you abundantly. God will cause a change. Oh my God, I'm, I'm saying this and I'm feeling something amazing that is about to happen to somebody. You experience a last minute miracle. God will believe you. You experience a great change. You will see God come true for you in a higher level, in another dimension of your life. You will see God come true for you. Make sure you're tacking it a sacrificial seed. It's not any kind of seed. A sacrificial seed is not something that you just want to be like, let it be that I partook or I'm partaking in this particular thing the woman of God is saying. No, this is a seed you've sat and you've thought about it in your heart. Can this suffice? Remember I said, your pastor is not hungry. The ministry is not lacking. It is for your own good. God, I'm putting a stop. I'm wrapping off everything. I'm wrapping up in this year 2023. And this is my sacrificial seed to put a stamp on this. You're putting a stamp on it. You're putting a stamp. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. Keep praying for me. Don't stop praying for me. Always pray for me. I beg you in the name of God. Keep praying for me. I love you so much. And by the special grace of God, I'll see you all in our next prayer session and prophetic word. I've been on a retreat. My goodness. I'm believing God for the things that he'll be telling me to do in this year 2024 coming so you really want to know what god is saying about 2024 but i will be doing as being led god bless you i'll see you when i have to see you by the special grace of god i love you so much god bless you shalom perfect and it's time